What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we are showcasing an incredible system that was designed by Roman Hartung, best known as Der Bauer of Case King. The build is called Aqua Exolare 2.0 and is equal parts high-end PC and science experiment. His Titan RTX is liquid-cooled, but not the way you may think. Let's go check it out. Last year, we already built a submerged system called Aqua Exalare, and it was using 3M Novak 7100. It's a special technical fluid which has an extremely low boiling point of 61 degrees Celsius. It's not water, it's also not oil, and it's also not electrically conductive, and that's how the system can work. And in today's system, we will be using 3M Novak 7000, so it's a different kind of fluid kind of similar but it has an even lower boiling point of 34 degrees Celsius which will also make it extremely difficult for condensating so we will have to work on a new cooling system. Last time we submerged the whole system inside 3M Novik but in this system we will only submerge the VGA and the VGA will be a Titan RTX. The Titan RTX will be mounted with a special riser cable on an X299 motherboard, in detail the Asus Rampage 6 Extreme Omega. And on this mainboard we will be using the new i9-9990XE, which is a 14-core unlocked processor with 5GHz across all cores and it will have massive performance. For storage we will be using an NVMe drive with 2TB from Samsung and we will also have 32GB of memory using Corsair Dominator GT with 3 2200 megahertz and it's the special Asus ROG edition. As I mentioned earlier the condensating process will be crucial in this system and the power consumption will be extremely high because we will be using some high performance and high power consumption techs. For this we will have two PSUs from Seasonic with 1300 watt each. So one PSU firing the whole system, so the Titan RTX, mainboard, CPU and all of that and then we will have a separate PSU just for the cooling system and the tech elements. The techs are then cooled by a water cooling loop and all the components from the water cooling loop are coming from EK water blocks. So we will have in total three 480 radiators which are cooled by EK RGB fans. Everything will be mounted inside a Rajintec Enyo case, which is kind of a modular case and it will give us a lot more possibilities in this case to just design the system because you will see later that it will be very, very special. So much for now, so let's start building the system. The center of the new Aqua Exalare is obviously the acrylic tank where we will place eventually the Titan RTX. Right on the bottom here we will place the Titan RTX without cooler so the 3M Novak has direct contact to the GPU and the memory and also the VRMs and therefore cool those hot components by boiling. And we will have a riser cable exiting the acrylic tank on the top and we will now close the acrylic tank with this special two component acrylic glue. Thank you. 
almost three weeks later and the Titan RTX is sitting inside the tank. The tank is completely assembled. Also the cooling elements with the tags are completely assembled and also the wiring is complete. So the next step is to mount the tank inside the case and currently we have the problem that the case is a little bit fragile so you can see this is moving a little bit but we have to make sure this is more stable because the tank will sit exactly on this position and that's why we have those additional elements which we will mount in the bottom part here to make sure it's more stable. In the last step we have to mount the pump also do all the hard tubing then we can fill up the system and essentially in the end also fill up the tank and then the system will be ready. As you can see, the system is up and running. The Novak 7000 is filled inside the acrylic tank and the NVIDIA Titan RTX is running. And it looks like it's really, really hot because the fluid is boiling and evaporating, but it's not. As I said before, fluid has a boiling point of 34 degrees Celsius and we have the two cooling elements on the right and on the left. The cooling element on the right is temperature controlled, so we have an aluminium block and we have a Peltier element which is cooled by this EK block and as I said before it's temperature controlled, so this will always stay at about 18 degrees Celsius. And on the left side we have another cooling element which is again cooled by an EK block and in between we have a Peltier element attack. And this side is not temperature controlled, it's always active to make sure that we always have active condensation. Because the Novak 7000 is constantly evaporating and boiling and we have to make sure that there is no loss of the fluid. And once it evaporates and boils it will access this hole on the bottom of the left cooling element, it will go through the structure which is inside and it can theoretically exit on the top through this hole but because the cooling element is always active it is always at around 5 to 10 degrees celsius we will always have condensation inside the cooling element and therefore no loss of fluid. The condensating Novak has a temperature of around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius and therefore if it drops down back inside the tank it will also lower the temperature of the fluid inside so we always have a temperature of the fluid of about 30 degrees Celsius even under load and therefore a very low GPU temperature of about only 40 degrees Celsius. Thank you Roman for sharing your insane build. Absolutely mind-blowing how you're even able to make that work. If you guys enjoyed this episode leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you for the next one.